Bob. All right. Um, yeah, you've actually got a really good profile. Better than most. Um, okay, so let's take a look at it. Perfect. Um, so for those of you watching this video, um, Bob is a job seeker. And as a job seeker, we need to know what he does, what his area of expertise is, and here we go. So results-driven business development pro, marketing specialist, proven sales manager, seeking Midwest position. That is pretty much a textbook perfect professional headline. Well done. Um, normally, I, I say, you know, uh, put in a update here that uh, supports your work, a link to examples of your work. But I, I really like this quote, so we're going to let that one stand. Um, the only thing I'm going to say is do not tie every tweet that you write to LinkedIn. It, I think it's good to have your Twitter account on LinkedIn. Just use the hashtag in option, and I think Bob does that. Um, because otherwise, every single one of your tweets is going to go to LinkedIn. And trust me, recruiters are looking at you on Twitter, and they are looking at you on LinkedIn. And if they see anything they don't like, they're using it to get rid of you, not to, you know... They're, they're not using it to, um, to choose you. They're, they're actually using it to, to, to remove the, the, the chaff from the wheat, as it were. So um, just be aware of that when you're on social media as a job seeker. Okay, um, your current and past positions. Uh, board member, excellent that you're putting some volunteer work in here. And uh, marketing chair, fantastic. Again, that absolutely supports what you want to be doing. Um, so that's excellent, excellent job there. Uh, the owner at Social Wave Consulting. Okay, great that you're owner. Leave that there. But but what does Social Wave Consulting do? I imagine it's social media consulting. But um, so put that down in there. Even though you're my competitor and I'm giving you tips here. Uh, <laughs> but you really want to describe everything you do at Social Wave Consulting. By the way, love the name. Um, and then founder at Bob on Business. But what does Bob on Business do? Is it a blog site? It Does it help business owners with their marketing? Um, your keywords are very weighted as in the LinkedIn search in the title field. So throw a couple of them in here. Tell people what you do and that will you know, kind of intrinsically uh, pop your, um, help you get found under keywords. Okay. Um, so very good. Again, uh, you might as well put director of strategic business development, uh, down here instead of just DIR because people might be looking for directors, um, strategic, <laughs> strategic business development. You know, it's 5 AM. Give me a break here. Um, and then again, what else did you do? Like th this is good marketing, marketing director and business development manager. I mean, maybe describe a little bit more what ISG does. All right, moving down. Your education, um, you want to add a little bit more about what you did and how, uh, how that um, education makes you a better what you, person you are today. Um, perfect. I recommend people get at least 10 recommendations. 12 is perfect. Uh, a lot of us, you'll see, have m many more. And yet when I talk to recruiters, they, they say it looks like if you've got more than 20 or 30 uh, recommendations, they've been seated. So 12 is probably a perfect number. Yes, as a job seeker, you need to have as many connections as possible because you don't know who you don't know and you don't know that that person might be the person who gives you your next job. So uh, well done, Bob. Um, for your websites, thank you for not using the defaults, personal website, company website. Um, you have used the, uh, the probably have used... Um, the drop down box where you can choose other, which opens up a new field, and that gives you the opportunity to write the Bob on Business blog, Facebook fan page. You get three um, websites, so use all three of them. And yeah, describing what the blog site is, or giving, or I'm sorry, describing what the website is, or giving the website its name, or a call to action, all of those are good things to do here. You know, hire Bob here, and you can put a page on your website that has your resume or something, or um, find out more about Bob here, or this is why you want to hire Bob, or something like that, you could do with your third your third uh, website here. Twitter, good. Um, love the Bob on business, because let's face it, there's probably several Bob Taylors on LinkedIn, 
So you don't want to be Bob Taylor 1, Bob Taylor 2, Bob Taylor 3. Uh, Bob on Business is a great um, is a great, great URL. Plus, I noticed that you are branding yourself that way. You've got your website name is Bob on Business. Your Twitter name is Bob on Business. Your LinkedIn name is Bob on Business. Well done. So again, you're you're also showing that your future marketing clients that you know how to brand and do personal branding. So well done. Okie doke. Um, summary section. You actually get two thousand characters here. I love that you use the bullets. Um, do this first in a Word document so you can mess around with that. Um, tell people why they should hire you here. Just like in marketing, think features and think benefits. So what is the benefit of hiring you? This is kind of some of the features of hiring you, but again, some of the benefits. Um, but this is really good, and I noticed you have a lot of your keywords in here, also good. There's a specialty section right underneath your summary section. You get another 500 characters, so this is 2,000. Plus your specialties is 500 characters, um, keywords, and think verb, think noun, think acronym, think synonym, synonym, and then you know uh, they're comma separated values, so um, separate them with comma space comma space. It's just pure keywording. Good. Use a reading list now. If you've written any books yourself, please put them in here first. <laughs> I just talked to a client. She's eight books she's published, and she put other people in the Amazon reading list. All right. Um, I don't see any other applications, but that could be linked in today. Um, obviously, if you have a blog, you want to use either the blog link application or the WordPress application to put that blog into your profile. Again, I think LinkedIn is just having issues today. I expect you have that in there already. Um, you can use box.net, so under applications, uh, you go to get more applications, box.net, which is right there, will allow you to upload any type of, um, any type of Word document, Office document, MP3, um, as a matter of fact, let me just show you, oops, in mine, what I have. And so if you've got examples of your work, your resume, your real resume, not the resume you uploaded into LinkedIn, your uh, CV recommendations from people who aren't on LinkedIn, they can all go into box.net. And it looks like that's what your, um, that's what your uh, blog's going to look like. Um, all right, it's, it's uploading right now. So it'll come in here. It'll just be a file. They'll click on the file and you can put, you know, uh, documents, um, job seeking documents or resume. There we go. So I put open for useful LinkedIn tools. <laughs> and then my uh, PDF and ebook I have pops up. My profile questionnaire that I send to clients pops up. And then a, a, um, an interview with me pops up. So those are all good things to put in there. Um, again, as a job seeker, examples of your work, your resume. Uh, recommendations or referrals from people who are not on LinkedIn. Okay, events, of course, if you've hosted any events, put them in there. Um, if you've uh, ever done a presentation, you've got that PowerPoint or that keynote, then by all means, pop it into um, your profile using slideshare.com. Slideshare right there. Again, secondary application, you'll have to create an account. And if you use um, if you use Google presentations and you have video on YouTube, you can actually upload that. Uh, I have that on my other um, I have that on my other one. So those are good. Those are all good applications you can use as a job seeker. And then that information is just sitting all in one place, all in your profile. Let's see what else we have here. Um, interest again. 750 characters, so you've made a good start, but again, verb, noun, acronym, synonym, both in your specialty section and your interest section. You'll notice this is all linkable, so this gets you a little bit more search juice, um, so more keywords here, please. Uh, excellent job on the groups and associations. Excellent job on the LinkedIn groups. That'll help you grow your network, as you probably know. And contact information. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. 
Okay, so that's great. Um, and of course, any other honors and awards that you've received. <laughs> Brilliantly done. Finally, let me give you this huge um, ninja trick. In contact settings, so that's this section right here. In contact settings, please put a phone number and an email address. And the reason for that is if you don't do that, then only your first level of connections will be able to reach you. So without putting your email address and your phone number, um, only, well, in my case, 12,000 people can connect to me, which isn't bad. <laughs> Surely I can find a client in 12,000 people. However, just by putting my email address and my phone number in that contact settings, now it's visible to everyone in my network, almost 20 million people. That to me is more important because I don't know who I don't know and I don't know who is going to be my next client and they may very well be in that 19,000 people. So um, by all means, please put your email address and your phone number there. And you'll notice, even though it only looks like you can put in maybe a sentence, it's actually a pretty big field. So I have put down a lot of free, keyword free, valuable um, information link or links rather to, to free valuable information that people can go to. Now these aren't hyperlinked unfortunately, they do have to do the cut paste thing, but still a ton of free and very valuable information here that people can go to and I'm just providing more good. And again, as a job seeker, you need to do that. Now. Uh, you're a blogger, so you do have publications. Um, but if, of course, if you have any real publications, pop those in here. Um, as long as there's a URL, you can put uh, whatever you want in publications. And I, I use my, the most clicked on thing on my um, blog is my LinkedIn tips. And so I pop them in here too. There you go. So you, again, have a really, really good profile for a, um, for a job seeker. Well, for anyone, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, and there's just a few things you can do to tighten it up and make yourself more visible on LinkedIn. And I hope that was helpful to you. And there you go. There you go, Bob. Thanks for the opportunity.